Good morning, ladies and gents. How are you doing today? It's Danny Stewart here from BassJapanDirect.com with another Naked Sound review. And today's bass is this uh, wonderful um, and very affordable Bacchus BTB-1 um, with uh, a lovely kind of butterscotch blonde finish and a maple fretboard. And this is from their Entry Level series. No, it's the Universe series. Um, they are made in China but uh, under the Bacchus brand and with their and and everything is um, quality controlled and checked here in Japan as well before before they enter the shop floors so uh, and um, yeah I mean the build quality on these is for the money is really very very good this only costs um, something like two hundred and thirty dollars uh, which is very cheap um, it's cheaper than a squire but I think it's actually superior uh, in a few ways it's come um, it's come set up at two millimeters this will achieve 1.5 millimeters no problem maybe even a millimeter um, if you want it to uh. but yeah I mean for the money it's an amazing base uh, I don't think you can beat Bacchus in terms of uh, cost performance um, with the tone down and the front pickups are, are not in a traditional P bass position but um, somewhere between a jazz position and a P bass position and uh, the rear pickup is in the 60s position so here we go So I doubled that up through the octaves uh, there, and uh, let's add some treble, add some chords of some kind with the treble dialed up there. Do those little guitar chords. There we go. riff down and I put it in the background there um, let's uh, focus on the rear pickup sound Alright, so I'll start with the um, rear pickup tone up as it is and just uh, play in with the bass line and do a little bit of... Um Thank you. 
Alright, so that's rear pickup with the tone up. Let's go with the tone down. Yeah, so there's a rear pickup for you, and um, you know, um, it's pretty good for the price, so uh, it's a uh, pretty damn good bass. Uh, let's um, have a listen to it balance now uh, with the tone all the way up. So I mean it plays pretty fluidly. Um, of course, it's no, uh, it's you know, it's no SDR, but um, considering it's only 250 bucks, and this is set up, you know, this is just set up at a standard setup like a two millimeter um, at the moment, and um, I'm finding it pretty comfortable. Uh, my my preferred setup is 1.5 millimeters, but there you go. So. One thing I find about this is there's maybe not quite so much definition as on uh, you know some higher end basses on the pickups. Um, let's do slap now on the front pickup. That's pretty nice, isn't it? And you know, if I play really close to the neck, the finger style, let's see what kind of tone, tone we get there with the tone down. Yeah, I mean, um, and uh, let's go with the toad up, do a little bit of picking on the front pickup. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's pretty mental. And let's uh, let's do it um, just just playing the bass line. So, I mean, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, for an entry level bass, I think it's pretty damn good. Um, the, uh, the construction is just fine. It's got a pretty good fit. Not bad. Um, I mean, for a bass in this price range, it's one of the best I've seen. Um, the materials uh, for a bass in this price range, again, also some of the nicest uh, finishing I've seen, you know, um, you know, this is the same sort of price range and um, level. You see, it's actually a bit cheaper than Squire, but um, it's every bit as good, if not better, actually, um, sound. The pickups, are, I think, are the only, the, the thing on this bass, which is, uh, that's the weakest point. The rest of it is actually, is actually really, really good. Um, and I think it's an excellent, if not one of the best starting points um, for an entry level bass. Uh, you know, all of the Bacchus range are like that. Whatever range you buy, you're always getting amazing value for money. So, uh, yep, great bass. Um, and it's not that heavy either. About, uh, this one's about 4.1 kilograms. Uh, but uh, it looks great. I mean, look at that. The pick guard is really nice. It's a very handsome looking thing. And uh, the finish is, the finish itself um, on the headstock and body is perfect. The fretwork is, is, it's pretty good, you know, it's, there's no hard edges. Um, it's done neatly, um, you know, um, and it plays nice and evenly. So not a lot to complain about there at all. In fact, uh, you know, I think anybody who spent $230 on one of these would be very happy uh, with it. So there you go. I hope you will consider buying one of these. Thanks for watching.